Good day, kind folk. It is I, Jacob. Joined by the one and only Dave. And today we're exploring everything the RTX 2060 has to offer, NVIDIA's cheapest Turing graphics card to date. Yes, NVIDIA's leather-clad leader Jensen Huang wrapped up his hour and a half lecture on the wholesale GPU economics over at CES last week, during which he announced this little ditty right here, the RTX 2060, coming January 15th to a store near you. Look, just act surprised and we'll pretend that all of this wasn't leaked in detail over the last few weeks. Oh my god, what's that? Despite the green team throwing analysts and journos off the scent with its too much mainstream inventory shtick just a few months back, it has now officially announced the 20 series mainstream card. But we say mainstream because despite the naming convention, it's not really a mainstream card at all. While the RTX 2060 is the cheapest of the cheering lot, it's still broaching that enthusiast territory thanks to its $349 price tag. Yeah, it's not following in the GTX 1060's affordable and comfy crop prints, that's for sure. But that's not to say it's not a good value card in its own right. If you excuse the pricing disparity between it and its namesake, as an enthusiast follow-up to the GTX 1070, it's a rather appealing proposition to gamers. You need to be able to throw around roughly 5 billion rays per second for entry-level real-time ray tracing. And to hit that magic number and let gamers ascend onto Mount Olympus, NVIDIA's had to retain 30 SM's worth of ray tracing silicon from the full-fat TU-106 GPU found in the RTX 2070. Yeah, so that amounts to 1920 CUDA cores, 30 RT cores, and 240 AI-based tensor cores. All in all, that's only 20% shy of the RTX 2070's unfettered CUDA total, and a 50% increase in core count over the GTX 1060 from days past. All that sweet, silky silicon resides within a mammoth 445mm2 GPU, kept chilly by the stubby yet oddly endearing twin axial shroud cooler copy and pasted from the RTX 2070 Founders Edition. Yet the RTX 2060 shroud needn't be quite so beefy. It'll be the first 20 series Founders Edition graphics card that doesn't come pre-overclocked from the factory. Yes, while the rest of Nvidia's own brand GeForce RTX cards offer a moderate overclock, the green team has played it safe with the 1680 MHz GPU boost clock for the RTX 2060. Yet despite reports of a multitude of memory configurations incoming for the RTX 2060, we know of only one. With 6GB of GDDR6 running at 14 gigabits per second across an aggregated 192-bit bus, the resulting 336 gigabytes a second of bandwidth should be more than enough to keep that GPU well fed. And as for power draw, the card is rated to a TDP spec of 160 watts, considerably more than the GTX 1060 and only 15 watts shy of the fully-fledged RTX 2070's wattage. That is also slightly higher than the TDP of the CUDA equivalent GTX 1070. One look at gaming performance and it's already game over for the GTX 1070. The RTX 2060 royally trounces the Pascal mid-range at its own game. So we're off to a good start and the RTX 2060 is already on par with the relative performance of its fellow Turing cards. But where the other 20 series fare stops there, the RTX 2060 still has more to offer, equaling the performance of the GTX 1070 Ti in many titles too. In Deus Ex Mankind Divided at 1080p, the RTX 2060 manages to surpass both the performance of the GTX 1070 and the GTX 1070 Ti, hitting a grand old score of 37 frames per second on average. Meanwhile, during a similar 1080p run of Heaven, the RTX 2060 hits 118 FPS on average, falling slightly behind the GTX 1070 Ti, while still showing the GTX 1070 what's what. In Far Cry 5 at 1440p, it manages to pull in 75 FPS, two whole frames over the GTX 1070 Ti. In Rise of the Tomb Raider at 1440p, however, the RTX 2060 struggles to keep a pace of the GTX 1070 Ti. Instead, it fits snugly between it and the GTX 1070 at 64fps. And despite the 2GB memory deficit, the RTX 2060 manages to keep awfully close to the GTX 1070 Ti even at 4K. In Heaven, the RTX 2060 manages 30fps, while the GTX 1070 Ti manages 31. But the tables are turned in Far Cry 5 at 4K, in which the RTX 2060 manages to gain one frame ahead of the GTX 1070 Ti. This leapfrogging performance equals roughly a 12% performance gain over the GTX 1070 across an average of all runs, and performance on equal standing with the GTX 1070 Ti. Yeah, and that's no small feat either. The GTX 1070 Ti is essentially a moderately hampered GTX 1080 and the RTX 2060 manages to just about keep up with all of its 2,432 CUDA cores across 1080p, 1440p, and even teeters mighty close at 4K. The GTX 1080, however, largely keeps a nose ahead of the 20 series card. 
but there is still a little more performance left on the table with Turing, as long as you're not totally opposed to strapping your GPU down to the operating table and carrying out some minute intricate overclocking surgery. Or just press one button in MSI Afterburner and have your card do all the hard work for you. With a plus 186 MHz offset implemented by NV Scanner in place, our RTX 2060 managed to pull in roughly 5% greater average frames per second in Far Cry 5 across 1080p, 1440p and 4K. But we know y'all are clamouring for those real-time ray tracing results, either to revel in it or complain endlessly about it. But hey, that's your prerogative. We gave the RTX 2060 a trial by fire in our own Battlefield 5 Twisted Metal benchmark, a full server flyby averaged across three runs. What you're about to see are results for a custom benchmark run we carry out ourselves. Battlefield 5 doesn't offer any in-game benchmarking. None, it's the worst. With that in mind, be wary when comparing ray tracing results like for like. Across our comparatively intensive run, we found the RTX 2060's 30 RT cores managed to get within 8 frames of that magic 60 FPS number at 1080p. So close. Hopefully once DLSS support is implemented in-game with the next driver update, we can revisit these numbers and see if this GPU is capable of cracking that 60 FPS mark. The RTX 2060 isn't really a mainstream card, or at least it's debatable at that price. It isn't the card to compete with AMD in the volume segment though, that's for sure but it might still be the best value Turing card so far regardless. The NVIDIA GTX 1070 Ti Founders Edition launched for $100 more than the $349 RTX 2060, yet we're seeing awfully similar performance from the cheapest Turing for less than the price of the GTX 1070 at launch too. That's more than can be said for other 20 series cards at least. The RTX 2080 and the RTX 2070 rely on the proposition of ray tracing and the RTX platform to justify the generational jump lacking much in the way of tangible performance uplift in their respective price brackets. And while it may leave budget-conscious gamers unsure of where to go next, the RTX 2060, uh, seen as an enthusiast card, is a solid performer in its price bracket, ray tracing or no. But the RTX platform still has a ways to go before it's valuable enough to gamers to justify a whole new GPU purchase. With a rather pitiful lineup of only two games utilizing any combination of those RT and Tensor cores, the RTX platform isn't quite there yet. So, is the RTX 2060 good value? Yes. As an enthusiast card with rasterized rendering performance that leaps over the last gen and with a promise of RTX in the future, it's a smart bet. Is it going to dominate the market like its GTX 1060 predecessor? Unlikely. And budget conscious gamers might have to swallow their pride and settle for a 2050 or 1150 card when the time comes for a truly affordable GPU upgrade. Well, we hope you've enjoyed your time here at PC Games N Studios. We wish you a pleasant onward journey and we hope you'll be back in the near future. Make sure to give us all that contrived YouTube stuff, a like here, a subscribe there, and make sure to ring that bell for updates on our whereabouts at all times. Yeah, so thanks for watching and check back on PCGamesN.com for the very best news, reviews and features from everyone stamping their feet upstairs and slamming doors while we try to film in here. Thanks. Bye!